Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to Tigers RC in Cube World. This time we're back with George the Pig, and we're in town. Gonna look through all the loot that we got from that dungeon. You can see it here. I might actually end up using some of this. This looks pretty good, like that. But we'll be looking for a shop and stuff, so let's start things off by finding out exactly where we are. Opening up the map and scrolling in. Alright, we can see the inns nearby. Trade District. Trade District is probably where we want to go first. We'll probably end up going to the Adventure District and District, sorry, and Crafting District eventually, but let's start things off with the Trade District, so we have our heading, closing our map. I like how you can walk even when the map's open. That's very nice. You can see it's getting to be light. I don't think the sun is even up properly yet. Maybe it is. But, alright, over there on the map, up in the top right, it zoomed in as well. So we can see this is the potion shop area. It's just the general store, and that's the armor shop. Here we go. Hi there, person. Let's talk to you. What have you got? Oh, nice. We might even be able to get a hang glider this, t this time. Alright, so we are a warrior garden, guardian person, which basically means we cannot use a bow, or boomerang, or cotton stuff, or more cotton stuff, or stuff that's for a rogue. That we might be able to use. Can't use stuff for a ranger. Alright, when, when I hover over this, you can see it says undamaged linen chest armor, plus one, the plus one doesn't really matter, but it says power one and it's for a ranger. Um, we're not a ranger, so I can't use that. Ooh, this looks cool. Don't think it's as good as... No, it's not as good as what I've got right now, I don't think. So, gonna sell that. Um, we don't need the wood wood wand. This is for a rogue. This is actually pretty good. See what this does. My typical weapon is damage four. HP 7.5, critical 0 0.6, and that's what both of them are. Damage for HP 7.5. This iron mace is a one-handed thing, and its damage is 4 as well. Same exact thing. Um, its HP isn't quite the same. It's, it's 5.8 as opposed to 7.5, but I've got 420 HP. That's not going to matter that much. An extra one from my sword. And it has tempo as well as critical strike. Um, one of the main things in this game is the fact that um, if you get a consecutive number of hits, like if I were to start attacking a mob right here, If I were to hit them once, it would increase my attack speed by a little bit. And if I were to hit them again, it would increase my attack speed by a little bit more. You can see I'm going really, really slow right now. But um, if I keep on hitting them more and more, it increases my attack speed more and more. Until I get a miss and then it resets. But that's what tempo does. It increases the attack speed more percent wise the more that you hit them so having a little bit of tempo is nice um, 
what do I have on my feet right now? Right now, I have something that is not as good as that. Ooh, this looks nice. Right now, my iron boots are plain iron boots, and they have HP 6, armor 0 0.5, and resistance 0 0.4 as well as Tempo 0 0.8 and Critical 0 0.3. These Iron Boots don't have any Tempo, but all the other stats are better. Unfortunately, I just sold them. Luckily, I can buy them back. I meant to equip them. Whoopsie. So I'm going to sell these and these. Um, I'm, yeah. I really like this game for its versatility. The fact that I accidentally sold that kind of scared me for a second. Uh, um, I've got a silver ring and a gold ring, and they have critical and tempo. But this thing is a lot better than my gold ring, so I'm going to switch them out. And I'm going to actually sell this gold ring. Which means... Now... I can buy a hang glider and a boat. I can't use them quite yet, but that's quite a bit of money for those two things, and they're good. They're really good to have. I can't wait until we can go hang gliding, because that's a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun. Um, yeah. So, that's that. I don't know if I should have bought the hang glider in the boat, but let's actually check out the armor shop. <laughs> Iron chest armor for 20 copper. What have I got right now? I don't have anything on my chest. That's actually probably a good thing to get. Right now my power level is 10, which means that I can get up to here. Everything farther than here I can't actually use. But these iron boots aren't that great. The shoulder armor, I don't have anything on my shoulders. So that's obviously better. And I don't have anything on my chest, so I'm going to get those two and put them on and probably my shoulder armor as well. I also don't have an amulet, so I think I'll buy that too. Every little bit helps. I don't actually know what goes in special. I don't remember. This is no use to me, but See, these are crafting recipes. I gotta go back to the potion shop now. Um, close the door behind me. <laughs> um, crafting recipes are over here. And basically, if you go in a cave, if you go in a cave and you find some iron or gold or stuff, you can use the crafting recipe and make it yourself. And typically, the crafting recipes are actually pretty good. This guy has a lot of shoulder armor. They also don't cost very much, so I can buy a lot of them, hopefully. Um, but, yeah. Good iron sword. You can see, I, I do enjoy the crafting recipes. An iron grate mace. 
Thing is, though, a lot of this stuff I'm not going to be able to use for a long, long time, and it would just be dead weight in my inventory, so I'm going to actually... No, inventory. You can see I can... If it's a higher power level than what I am right now, then I can't add it to my crafting recipe book or whatever. So if I open up crafting, you can see I can craft all those things now with the iron that I have. So I might actually do that. Um, that's a pretty nice one. That one's actually even better. Although if we want to get a shield, this would be the shield to get. The... I don't know. That's something we gotta decide between episodes. Do we want to have two weapons? I do enjoy having the two weapons. Do we want a sword and a shield? Or a axe and a shield or something? Or do we want to have a two-handed weapon? Like a sword that's as tall as I am. You know. Something like that. I really don't know which. Speaking of weapons, let's go talk to the weapon salesman. Who should be this house right over here. Right? Right? Looking at the map? Right here. Yep. All right. What have you got for me? Um, definitely don't want to be that far up. Great mace, that's two-handed. I'm not seeing anything. I'd have to level up twice to get to level s power level 17. Although that shield, check out that shield. That would be a really cool shield to have. Kind of expensive though. More copper than what I'd like to spend. Oh well, nothing really here for me. Um, there is one other thing in my inventory. You see these leftovers? Um, leftovers are typically really good to find. You don't know what they are. But if you go to this guy, and I think it's right click and identify, I found a clean wooden bow. Wow, that's actually a really nice bow for a level 1 person. And a clean iron fist. Both of those are pretty good, but I can't use either of them. So I'm going to actually head back over here to this guy and sell them. Sold, sold. That was actually a pretty good price. So, um, oh yeah, it's probably a little bit late for me to be telling you this, but you see right here, I've got zero gold, one silver, and 67 copper. When I came into town and sold all my stuff, I had like 21 silver, and then I bought quite a few things, including the hang glider and the boat are probably the most expensive things that you'll ever find in this game. And so I bought them for 10 silver each. But um, 100 copper equals a silver, and 100 silver equals a gold etc 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 they it's just nice and simple that way but I think that that will be that alrighty unfortunately I just had to check the time on my recording and it's getting to be about the end of the episode so you can look forward to next episode maybe I'll be crafting a sword or something and yeah, be sure to post down in the comments what sort of weapon combination you want me to have. Either two swords, a sword and a mace, a sword and an axe, two axes, two maces, etc., etc. Um, 
a sword and a shield, or a mace and a shield, or an axe and a shield? Or do you want me to have a big wooden club, or a large iron sword, just this big old great sword thing that is as tall as I am? Or would you like me to try out a sword and a shield? Anything like that. Post it down in the comments, and I'll take a look, and next episode, we should be able to um, decide that. Decide it and keep on going. So, until then, thank you fellows so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I did kind of explain some of the stuff about Cube World, and um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Uh, so long. George says bye too.